So to continue on and with why we think uh, uh, there should be stricter gun laws and more universal um, code slash criteria for purchasing firearms, um, well, first we want to talk about why we believe that the age limit should be 21 all throughout, um, all throughout person and types of guns, whether it's handguns or long guns. Um, so to talk about Nicholas Cruz, who was 19 years old, um, according to Peter Forsley, Special Agent Miami Office of uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, he explains that Cruz lawfully bought, bought semi-automatic weapon last February. Uh, the gun, a Smith & Wesson MP15, was purchased at Sunrise Tactical Supply. Um, according to the Associated Press, federal law allows people 18 and older to legally purchase long guns, including this kind of assault weapon. With no criminal record, Cruz cleared an instant background check via the FBI criminal database. If somebody is adjuncted mentally defective or has been committed to a mental institution, he is prohibited from possessing a firearm under federal law. So with Nicholas Cruz, um, even though he had no, no criminal record and has not been um, adjunct into a mental institution, he actually was placed under a mental uh, health program. And sadly, that data was never transferred into the federal database because under certain state laws, um, with their own background check program, such as Florida, who has their own background check program, the data was never transferred federally. And therefore, because there is a miscommunication of data, and because Florida actually has very lax uh, gun laws, um, the, it was never flagged through the FBI's federal database. So there was a flaw in the system, and that's why we believe um, that those 13 children at the Florida High School could have been saved that day is if we had a more consistent system and a more stricter system, uh, those 13 children would still be alive today. Uh, for, uh, for Dylan and Eric, uh, the two Columbine shooters, um, all four of the guns that had been sold uh, to the two shooters was from the Colorado Gun Show by private sellers who took no names, required no signature, and called nobody for a background check. Because of that, um, we believe that you know, with stricter gun laws, uh, you were able to target private sellers as well and have them be able to have background checks before, uh, or having the sellers and the private, or the private sellers and the private buyers go through background checks before um, actually purchasing the weapon. Um, to continue with why um, the, uh, with what my, or with what we were saying, uh, how they believe that the uh, restrictions won't help. Um, the cotillion to stop gun violence issues uh, that approximately 40% of gun sales are made without any background check, giving convicted felons, the dangerously mentally ill, and other unchecked access to firearms. It's long past time to require a background check on every gun sale in America. Uh, continuing that, universal background checks would help reduce the risk of firearm ending up in the hands of criminals, um, such as, or, or a person affected by mental illness or terrorists as well. And that's because um, one of the most dangerous gaps in the federal firearms laws is the background check loophole. And although the law requires licensed firearm dealers to perform background checks, uh, it does not require unlicensed sellers to do so as well. So again, we, we believe that stricter gun laws, uh, where it targets the private industry of selling firearms, uh, that will help prevent more firearms from being put into the wrong hands. Um, continuing that to talking about um, some of the uh, worst deadliest shootings in America, all of those firearms were actually bought uh, legally, completely through a firearms dealer. Um, the, Nef the Nevada shooting, uh, the Las Vegas shooting, uh, was done by Stephen Paddock, and there was actually an issue with uh, the data being transferred, where uh, Nevada has their own point of contact background check, and uh, <coughs> Stephen Paddock, uh, he was an unstable individual and has been documented that. Um, and because uh, Nevada had their own background check system, uh, the FBI would not duplicate that system because it would cost more money. So that's why you see fees in having a federal background check in states that have their own background check systems, because again, the FBI will not want to pay extra resources to do that. If we were to eliminate state background check systems and just allow it to be completely federal, uh, you would allow more consistency of data and more efficient ways of uh, having background checks. Because um, as of right now, in states that have, um, that have more lax gun laws, um, such as Nevada and Florida, where uh, there is no flag if you buy multiple weapons, there is no uh, flag for certain databases, such as mental health issues, it's only if you are a felon that you will be flagged in the federal database. So again, we believe that implementing stricter gun laws allows the FBI to catch uh, more flags and potentially stop more threats.